Okay, you ready? Structural isomers. All right, now that we have a pretty good idea of what these compounds look like and how to name them, all right, you're going to learn something about them today. Okay? Something interesting about how you can draw the same compound, at least in the same molecular formula, but you can actually draw him and he can exist more than one different way. And I don't just mean by how I look at him on a paper drawn, but I mean something else. All right? I'm going to talk today, the first part of this class, about structural isomers. All right? Structural isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula, in other words, C5H12, or C3, C2, or whatever, H, however many. They're the same thing for the molecular formula, but they don't have the same structure. When you put them together, when you're looking at their actual compound, it doesn't look the same. They're actually different names here. And if you notice, your notes that you're writing on here are pretty much a blank sheet. That's for on purpose. You're going to be drawing in our examples here as we draw them on the board. And when I say we, I mean you. And actually, I've done this in this last period, uh, and I'm going to, I do it every year. And the best way to do this, the reason I do it with you guys coming up here, it's very simple. You will make the mistakes. Sometimes you make mistakes I don't even anticipate. All right? So I need you to make these mistakes while we're doing these. Starts out pretty easy. Say, for example, I were to do C5H12. Okay, write that down as my first example. I think it's already there, right? Yeah. Who wants to come up and draw me C5H12? Draw it on the board. The simplest way you could po probably draw this guy. What do you think? Just a nice, simple C5H12. What would I, what, how, what's the easiest way you would probably draw him? Go ahead. You come up, Brendan, and do that for me. He, he's smart. He's taking the easy one. Okay, use my, by the way, I need you to leave room for the other ones that are going to be on here. So, don't write here. Write up, I'll write, draw your first C for you. And you got to press hard. That's how big you make them, okay? Let's try that. Okay, you got to press hard. Oh, do you? Wait, 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 start all over again. It's not easy. Look at that. Oh, jeez. What? Yeah. Are you in kindergarten? This is terrible. Wait a minute. Yeah, all right. Good job. Oh, what's that guy's name? Ben Dane. Very good. All right, well, that's easy. Can someone come up and draw a compound that is also C5H12, but not that pentane, not pentane. Yes, you can. Yes, somebody can. Who wants to take a stab at it? You don't need to. Now you're both. Eventually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's right. That's okay. Uh, remember, I want mistakes. Oh, she wants to give me the hardest one. Yes. So when I mess up, you can last one. All right, Olivia's going to draw a mistake for us. I didn't exactly do work this out. Put it over there. Okay. Up high, up high. Use your head. Side on, side on. You're going to draw something, right? Yeah. You're starting in the middle of the space. Start at the do? end of the space. Okay. Start here. So if you're going to draw something, you have room. Yeah, go. All right, Olivia's going. Go for it. Come on. Higher, 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 higher. Oh, my God. I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Okay. All right. She's, I see what you're doing now. Okay. Great. Keep going. Keep going. I love it. You have one more there. That's all right. It doesn't have to look. That's the ugliest cyclopentane I've ever seen. Put all your H's around there. Go ahead. I love it. Don't draw it. Because it's wrong. That's why I like it. Go ahead, go ahead, keep keep it. How many can you put around each one? Well, one. Each carbon can have how many bonds? Yeah. Each carbon can have how many bonds? Four. Four. So you, each one has right now three. I'll just put that. Another one. There you go. That's it. Beautiful. I love it. Don't copy it, but I love it. This didn't even come up in your class. Great. Please don't steal my pen. All right, look. This is a great wrong answer. This week, remember I told you just a minute ago, I didn't think I'd be proven correct this quickly. Just a minute ago, I said, you guys make mistakes I don't even think about. All right? And I did not even put that one on the board for last class. So I guess we're probably going to use this one to be taped and put on YouTube tonight. Because um, I didn't think about this one. Absolutely wrong. Why is this absolutely wrong? It is not C5H12. It is C5. 
H2468 10. See if I reach 10. It's not the same formula. So we'll erase that card. Now, who wants to come up and try one that is? Me. Emily is going to go up. I don't want to. You just said me. Who? Oh, Trent. Trent, you want to go up? Trent. Yeah, yeah. Trent, 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 Trent. Trent, Trent. Should I write down the first page one? Just wait. Trent's going to drop. Now, Trent knows he's going to make it up here. He's tall. Go for it. Press hard. Press hard. That's it. Crazy. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love it. No, oh, it's so good. Put all the H's around it. Extra. Perfect. Great. Bad. Wrong. Answer again. I love it. I love it. Great mistake, though. Give me that. Why? Why is that one? Because uh, that is still that. This is, I mean, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, that's one methyl butane. That's different. Is that one methyl butane? No, it is not. All right, Jared finally is now he's got all those wrong answers out of the way. He's going to come in. Probably not. Day. Still probably gonna He's going to make even wrong. another mistake. Probably. Here. Oh, God. Jared. <laughs> Seize. See, there's a parenthesis for crying out loud. Oh, well. Oh, my God. You don't ever complain about my handwriting. Next time you complain about my handwriting, guess what you're going to have to do? Correct one of Jared's tests. Or Jacob's, even more. I love it. This is beautiful right here. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is a great example of two things. One, Seriously? You had to draw it that big. Yes. Really? I have no room left on my entire page. Exactly. Yeah. All right, sir. But, but, and also, two, the total lack of ability to draw a C. That's pretty bad. Cookie Monster, he'll never be. All right, but is this correct? Absolutely. Yay. Let me show you why. This guy is pentane. He is C5H12. This guy is also C5H12. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But he is not pentane. What is he? He is one methyl pentane. He is not one methyl pentane. He is two methyl pentane. He is two methyl pentane. And I, because Jared has absolutely no drawing abilities at all, I'm going to redraw him so we can fit something else on here because we're not done yet. We could have fit something in the corner right there. But we're not done yet. And this guy would be two methyl butane. All right, there are more. Who wants to try another one? You don't need right there, Matt. Of course I do. Eventually. I'll go. But are you ready to try it now? Should I write these? Do you have an idea? You got something in your head? I want somebody has something in their head. Yes. Emily, come on. Up. No, I don't. All I mean, right. yes, I do. Then come on. Here you go. I don't know. So so just try. It. Everybody wants to see your Aztec shirt anyway. The Mexican Mexican, shirt. Aztec, whatever. All right. Now look, fit it here over. So I broke. Let's go. No, no, don't listen to me. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let him go. Let her go. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Come on. Um, well, I could go two places with this, but. Okay, add one up there. Go ahead, try it. But that's gonna be wrong. Why do you think that? Well, then put it somewhere else. Where do you want to put it? I can put it here. Go ahead. But it's wrong. You keep saying that. I want wrong answers. Okay, great. Stop. Now let me have that pen. Thank you. Go away. Stay high on the way out. All right. Great wrong answer. Don't copy it. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I. Josh is probably thinking this. That's right. This is two ethyl propane. This is two ethyl propane, oh, right? I know what I'm. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to explain why it's wrong. All right. This is not two ethyl propane. You have to find the longest chain, like we learned how to do for the past how many days, right? This is simply two methyl butane, like that guy right over there. Right. Now, Emily's going to try to. Wait, wait, wait. Let me erase for you so you have room. You, you wanted me to mess up. You no, I didn't. You, you I told you right wherever you wanted to. Okay, try it again. S. Try it again. Nice! Emily's thinking. Very Are good. Are you making fun? That's right. You're, you're right. This was absolutely correct. And you'll be able to name it. 
Excellent. Bam! Thank you. Bam. <laughs> Go away. Stop. <laughs> Whatever it was you were doing. The Mexican. Go away! <laughs> Don't look! <laughs> we're gonna have to, like, you know, blur the pictures. <laughs> Alright, what is this called? What is this called? The Mexican. Two. Comma. Don't forget the commas and dashes. Two commas. Two. 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 Dimethyl dye. Propane. Two comma two dimethyl. Propane. What the pros feel when they get hurt. Propane. Correct. <laughs> well, that's why they're dimethyl dye. Propane. It's like they must have been a contract killer, killing professional athlete. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> they can you stop for you? All right. Um. All right. Who has another one? Josh has one. He said he had one. Madonna said I had one. Lies. Jakob, you said you had one. I don't have one. I'm out. Alright. Alderman takes? Still writing. Somebody got another one? Jack got it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Chief got it. Who? Where? What? Chief. Chief! No. Can you, what does that say? Does that say methyl propane? 2 2 dimethyl propane. Oh, it looks like a P, doesn't it? 2 2 dimethyl propane. You made fun of my C's. Oh, come on. This is, a, this is your C. That's a C. I didn't press hard enough for the first one. It was weird. They all look like that. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Like Thank you. Yes. It was, yeah. Uh, I didn't press hard up the first one. The second one looked like that, too. All right. The first one had, like, a face and half. Okay. We need another one. Come on. Emily, tell me what to write. I won't have to come up here again because the camera can't take it. What else can I write? Stuff. You said you had one more. What do you have? Three straight. Three straight. Okay. Then what? How about four straight, one of the thing, and one of the, no, three straight, one of the one, and one of the two? Ah. No. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. that's exactly yeah. the same. It's exactly the same as this guy above here. See, this is the key. Now, listen carefully to this. This is an absolute necessity. When you go and draw these, when you go back, name them again. And when you name them, use the rules of finding the longest carbon chain. Because what you want to do is if you, right now, if I were to draw and name it immediately afterwards, here's what you would have called that. Here's what Emily would have called that. One, two, dimethylpropane. Because that's what she's thinking in her head. But if you write them all down for homework, or you have to do it tonight for homework, and then go back and draw and name them, you're going to find that you're going to, oh, wait, I just put a methyl group on the, uh, I can't do that. Okay? Just like you can't do this. I can't. Some people want to do this. They want to put an ethyl group like that. Oh, that's an ethyl. That's, that's, that's two ethyl butane. Is that correct? No. Just making that chain longer. Exactly. And there's six there. It's also six. Which is what we're going to do next. Let's do that. So is there not That was only the first one. Is there not another one? That was it. There were only three. Oh, so you were. I was trying to get you to make another mistake. Oh, thank you. are welcome. All right. Okay. C6 H14. Why don't we try this one? On our own. You draw as many C6H14s as you can, and we'll see if we did it right. And I'll show you a nice little trick about how to do this, okay? Another trick about how, a little little system. Because we did get most of the mistakes in there. Try as many as you can. Are there going to be more or less for C6H14? More. Absolutely. More than three, sir. I would suggest writing them first and then going back and naming them to make sure you didn't make a dumb mistake like we've been doing. Everybody needs to try these. You're, again, those of you who didn't have me in the past, I think, I see this a lot, you're just waiting for me to give you notes. And you guys got to get out of that. You're also waiting for me to give you answers. And people who have had me know, I'm not going to give you the answers. 
So I'm just going to ask you another question. Yeah. And I'm going to expect you to do it on your own. So get... Because we love you. Because you love her. And if you're playing with your phone right now, I'm taking it. What are you doing? Then do work. You should be writing something down. Write something down. I didn't. How many have? Six. How many of them do you have? I just told you six. How many isomers do you have? How many different ones do you have? Who knows? Hold your paper. She has one. You have one. There are many more than one. You need to write down other things that you think are the correct answers. You're talking to her like she's four. She's <laughs> 14. There's a reason. Can we do a um, cyclone cyclo name? No. We just went through that. Can you do a cyclo one? No. What would be wrong with that? No. no. That was our first one we put up there. Olivia put that up for us. Thank you, Olivia. Okay, mister. I'm a big star. Yeah. Wow. He is going to get it. By the way, I forgot to say this. I like to break down words, too. Isomers. What do you think of when you think of isomers? One. No. I get that all the time. People say, I like to say iso means one. Iso does not mean one. Oh, you think, here's why they think that. Why do they think that? What word has isolate? I, isolate, right. Uh, but no. Iso, think about other places you use that in biology class. Isometrics and iso. Tope, a good one in chemistry class, I was thinking of no, no, from biology. Isotonic, exactly. Those are all good examples of what ISO means. Knowing that, isotonic, what are the other types of tonic? Hypertonic and hypotonic, right? Remember hyper, what does that mean? That's me, hot, you know, not hot. Um, hyper, like hyperactive, more. Hypo, what does hypo mean? Less. Hypothermia, lower body temperature, right? Hypodermic needle, under the skin, under, lower. What does ISO probably mean? In the middle, same as in isometrics, no movement. ISO, what was the other one you guys said? Isotonic. You said isotonic, isometric, it was one other. Isotope, same element, different numbers of neutrons. So isomers are the same but different. They're the same, this, same molecular formula, different structure and different names. All right, let's go through this. I hope you all got it by now. I don't know. Uh, did everybody have... I'm going to show you a nice systematic way to do this now, so you might want to pay attention. First, I would do, do this guy. Everybody's going to do the straight chain one first. Make sure you get that one out of the way. Don't name them. Do them. And then we'll name them later. Okay? Everybody's watching this. I would then shorten that chain by one carbon, by a methyl group. And I would throw that methyl group to as many places as I could. So, if I'm doing this guy, I shorten it by one carbon, and now I'll put that methyl group here. Okay? With the right number of H's around. Right? And then I would put them anywhere else I could put that methyl group. Where could I put them now? Right in the middle. Now, watch. Everybody watch this. Can I then say, oh, this is what the logic says. Okay, Okay. now I'll move them over here. And then I'll move them over here. Can you do that? No. No. You can't move them over here because that's going to be exactly the same as that. Right? 
Same thing. You understand? Okay? I know it's kind of a mess around. All right. So, what do I do next? You start making it four and then putting two on. All right. So, I've, got, I've taken care of all my methods. So, now what do I have to do to the chain? Shorten it by another one. So, now... And by the way, good question here. Can I, I, I want to put two methyls around. There's a lot of places I can put them. Let's see. I can put my two methyls like this. Correct? Did anybody get that one? Yeah. Did y'all get that one? Can I move them over to this one and call it something different? No. Because then it would just be the same exact thing. All right? Because so, you always have the number for the lowest number possible. You can move the one. Can I do this? No. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's different too. Would it be different name if this guy were facing down or up? No. No. All right. Have I gotten all of them? No. No. I could do this. Hey, watch this. Can I do this? I'll make it an ethyl, right? No. I cannot. I cannot. You understand why? What am I doing here? Longest chain. Do I have this guy already drawn? Yep, he's right there. Okay, so what else do I have? What else can I draw here? What have I look at your papers? What do you have that I or what do you have that I don't have up here? That's what I'm asking you. What do we have? Maybe not. See any more? Does anyone see any more? No. Alright. Because you might think to yourself, well, I'll shorten it to three now. What's the problem with shortening it to three? I can put one there and I can put one there, but then I got to put my next one where? On one of these guys, right? And wherever I put it, we say, oh, that looks different. That sure looks different. Is this the same as somebody up there? Same as that guy. Right there. All right, now, let's go back and make sure. I mean, I, I know they're right, but let's just go back and you should make sure that what you did is get the correct number or the correct name for each of these. What's the name of that guy? Hexane. What's the name of this guy? Two methyl, two methyl uh, pentane, right? What's the name of this guy? Three methyl pentane. This guy? Two two, two, two dimethyl butane. Good. Two three dimethyl butane. And when you go back and name them like that, that saves you the trouble. If you had done one of those dumb mistakes like this one here, where you're trying to make something else, and you use your rule again. You would realize that there's your longest chain. This is 2, 2, dimethylbutane, which you already have drawn over there. Okay? So there you have it. That is structural isomers, and that's where I've got to stop the video again.